Okay, folks, we know what this reflection is, and like I've showed you, basically, electrical knowledge. When I was a little rookie, eggshell fluorescence, that is not, okay? Nothing that, though, I've seen the lights that are inside of this, basically, aircraft control for the Roth of Barra Station, okay? So this is our, one of our suns, baby sun stars, out of the supergiants, Rival Kentaurus A, B, or anything else that was in front of it, okay? We know that. And then basically, here it is coming up, and this is early hour, and this will give you at a 400%. And I'll see if I can pop in at 1,000. We're pretty sure, even if those are clouds, they get really weird coloring from this thing coming up, okay? Hang on. Now, there's a real good look, folks. 1,000. I blew it up to 1,000. And there you go. Your eyes do not lie to you. Okay? Looks like three, possibly four. Boom, 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 and pretty large right there. Boom. Okay? A little bit smaller than these two here. Okay? So there you go. Fireballs in the sky. I'm not going to win any flipping Golden Globe Awards here. So anyway, let's pop this down to like 400 so you know what that I'm showing you the real thing. And then that's what you were zoomed in on is right there, okay? And then you know that you've seen this be Roth of Station before, and as you can see, they're glimmering right down here on the deal. And let's go up to the time. There you go. That's not the suns. It's suns, but it's not the sun, okay? It's some suns, some small dwarf suns out of the supergiants, and the sun is in the supergiants. More facts, thousand percent truth for you, and we blew it up to a thousand to take, let you take a look at it. And also, back here, and you remember, this stuff is way up in space, glimmering down on Earth, and you'll see that volcano. I got holy smoke, I think, I put in for you, and we got some action from the Japan volcano again today, this morning, this afternoon, basically, okay, about an hour ago, uh, up in the clock at 347. It's within the last hour, 47 minutes probably, okay? So we'll see what else we get for pictures here out of Rothabur. And basically, I could take you to space real fast and show you that Earth's fine. You see what I'm saying? Because anything that would be bright would be showing up unless, you know, but remember, we got layers. So you always got to look, 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 because we got layers. So they could be layering something out. You never know, okay? So this is that movie going through motion there. And you get a good, at least they listened to us a little bit when I was bitching about not knowing exactly which one was Mars. It looks like that should be Mars right there. Okay, so everything looks, uh, let's pop out at 400% here so you get a good idea. And yeah, there's a big clusters way up there. So there's all kinds of stuff that we've never really kind of known before. And then basically I'm going to pop back in at 400 because I want to check this out and show you that, that the idea that it's something's really bright in the supergiants in the sun. And it could be what we're seeing there at Rothabara because we're going to pop in here at 400%. And you're going to see that it's almost bleeding right through the solar panel. As you can see, that, that blocks the sun and the supergiants there in the well back behind here. But as you can see right there, that there is so brightness that it's basically flowing right through. And let's take you to some CME action here real fast. And basically that, if I can get that to play, not really worried about too much playing. There's a shot for you there. Uh, this one here, pop this up to like uh, 200 or something like that. So this one doesn't play either. And I don't know if a lot of people are looking at it or not, but that is a massive CME there, folks, flopping off. Okay, massive CME there. Saturn and so forth. And remember, we found that one. You got to go with the look. To, I got yo y o. And then I think uh, I think a look behind it. But anyway, go look my yo video. Yo look, you know, black, I believe. But it's yo. It starts with yo, just Y-O. And you'll see that we had an object back up here. And now we're not really getting a feed there because I tried to get uh, 24 so on and then get this to play and so forth. And yeah, it won't play. Okay. And there's no CPU usage problem or anything like that. It just won't play. And I'll go refresh this. But it's not that more important. But all it is, I mean, these are some huge CMEs here. So go to Solar Artists. And make sure you check out and see what's going on with CME action and, and what could be headed our way. Okay? And actually, it's kind of safe to see this going off that way, but it does circulate around in space. So we're going to get some action or something's going to get some action to that CME because these are massive CMEs, folks. That's not the sun. This is what's flying off the sun in the supergiants banging together up there. They're getting it on. 
Okay, so we got mercury somewhere wherever the mercury there's got to be a little bit so that's how small mercury looks because basically you just follow the name of mercury it's got to be right in front of the mercury marker and then you're not really even seeing it that's how many layers we've got folks so mercury small there so that bigger stuff that we're seeing is just like what we're saying new stuff there is interesting stuff ladies and gentlemen has to be because either that or it's still layers and as you can see the sun looks pretty small in this shot too so they've zoomed back pretty good on this shot here okay this is about, I think, the freshest I could get. I couldn't get the 26th or the 27th, uh, you know, it could be a few days. Yes, this is a solar panel on the satellite, and it uses a blocker, but very interesting, that there's the, you know, and duh, the CME action. So let's go back to more. So it's very important for yourself to make yourself happy here is to go where ahead, okay? You know, this is coming off the ahead satellite. So go take a look. It's the same formation that we've been seeing there. And like I say, I haven't been worried about which ones, what or whatever it is. And you have them, and they are basically CME reacting. Uh, taking a guess that more than likely, possibly Mercury, Venus, either that or a, and then also this one here is also reacting to the, it's not no inner, inner camera flare like we've been getting the BS, we've been loaded. And a lot of common layman people have just listened to me and like, yeah, duh. And then scientists also. So huge CME. And that's A ahead. And it could be any planets that we do know of or some new ones we don't know of. And as you look around space, there's plenty of what, yep. Because the CME action is lighting up space and getting to see stuff way far off, stuff close and huge. So let's see if this thing is even reacting to the CME out here. Sort of looks like it did just even before, right? Looks like it's doing something. So those are interesting objects there. And as you've seen that this is the 22nd H1A. Okay. And like I say, B is frozen. And then you couldn't get I couldn't get any fresher updates. So massive CMEs coming off of the sun, folks, going through space, flying through it, and hitting stuff. So check it out. The sun and the supergiants, because the sun is only not even 11, 10 point something Jupiters, okay? And basically one of these should be and possibly might be, but I'm not sure. But I think this is part of a triangulation that they don't want to talk about too much because this is on a head. So basically, uh, since this is shooting ahead left here somewhere, Earth's got to be out here somewhere. Okay, it's anywhere in this shot way left, Earth's got to be here somewhere in ahead. H1A ahead. So. No matter what, as you can see, all the CME actions coming off the supergiants and the sun, low and high. I'm wondering if we get that. So, no matter what, we're going to have some CME action. i got to get the solar artists to check that out. Alright, folks. Basically, I got this to play for a second. And we'll see if... The, here we go. You know, I mean, there's massive CME coming off towards Saturn and so forth. Watch, check this out. Whammo. Holy buckets. Holy buckets. Yeah, so no matter what. So. Okay, and you just figured the size of Saturn, ladies and gentlemen. And you know the supergiants exist and the sun and them are all banging on and getting it on because there's Saturn. And it's the huge that you see. That's the sun and the supergiants getting it on. Something's going wild up there because that is massive CME action because the idea that Saturn is pretty darn big. You go up to look up the size of Saturn. Okay, and how many Saturns does it take to make the sun? Okay. Massive, massive, massive. And this is the 24th. Okay. Because all the way across huge amounts of mileage of space millions billions of miles here probably light years whammo an instant whammo 
You know, it takes three some minutes for sunlight to come from the sun to hit it here, but CMEs take a while to travel to get here. So watch out for CME action, folks. It usually takes a good 48 hours or more, so we're getting pretty close to getting some action probably. Wild, wild, wild. So look up the size of Saturn, and no matter what, uh, the camera is not too far away from Saturn there. Either that or just Saturn is just hella glowing big because of the CME action, you know, reacting to CME, coronal mass ejection. Wow. Holy buckets. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Huge CMEs, folks. Just keeps them bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger all the time. This is one whole day, okay? So that's just a time lapse of whole day, okay? Time lapse of the 24th. Humongous. And as you see, they pulled in to the left a little bit more on the sun to not let us kind of see what the heck was up there because there is something up here that it was getting action we showed in our earlier videos. And remember this is the camera at the other end of the field so up there to the right was another sun and that was basically what was probably glimmering off the roof that I showed you and then we'll show you the next hour here or yeah so interesting here and this was, matches the time of those three or four suns that we seen in the other direction okay so they were visible just before it got dark okay because at two o'clock it gets dark well, you can see those super giant suns just before it gets dark at two, and then I already seen it at one. Something that basically it was just cloud cover there. Okay, now you seen that other sun here, there, right there. Okay, and you seen the other ones I already showed you on Rothbard. Okay, so the sun's this size here. Okay, and it's not doing all this. It's the super giants and the sun. Holy CME action. Holy CME action. That's a whole day right there, folks. 25th. Okay. So I eat a lot of stuff by the sun, a lot of stuff by the sun, and basically just roll down through here, and then you know that I keep on figuring that's Venus, so Venus is hella fuego, hella bright one way or the other, whether it's its atmosphere or whether it is just CME glow, CME glow hitting Venus and making it real bright and big, okay? Because it's a long ways away from stereo ahead, okay? Let's see if we can get uh, Lasco 3 Navy. Very interesting there, folks. Check that out ahead. What's that remind you of what we've been seeing and seeing and seeing and seeing? Right there, right there, right there. And then the sun lights it up, and that's towards Earth, because ahead would be anything left, Earth somewhere on the left. Anywhere left somewhere Earth is, okay? And that shot somewhere along the side there left, either up high or low, somewhere on this left border of this picture, Earth is somewhere. And that humongous something or other is right there between us and the sun, okay? I.e., even if it's a cluster, okay? It's there, ahead, okay? Because this is ahead, okay? There you go, okay? Remember, these objects are huge, okay? Huge objects, okay? Huge objects up there, okay? And there's Lasco 3. So, you can sure see that there's something right there, folks. Like I've been showing you before, and there's something right here, more than likely, too. Okay? These Navy shots don't lie to you. I want that coke. Navy does not lie to you. Check that out. Black and white. Holy humongous. That might be mass 50, a lot bigger than what we thought. 50 or 55, whatever mass it is. Okay. So.